What is up everyone and welcome back to another death battle reaction on the channel. I think this one has probably the most views I've actually seen on the original death battle. So I thought to myself, this one obviously is probably going to be one of the best ones I have watched. Now, a lot of the ones I've been watching recently have just been amazing. I freaking love death battles, okay? And I am so happy that you guys love watching these reactions with me. Or if you've already seen them, I'm so happy that you like to watch them again with me. So, Deadpool vs. Deathstroke. I'm not too familiar with Deathstroke, but I am very familiar with Deadpool. I absolutely adore the movies. Again, when it comes to like comics and things like that, I don't read comics. Like if I know of a character, it's because I watched the movies. So in regards to what they can do, their abilities and things like that, from what I know of Deadpool, I mean, he is pretty badass, but he's also like mega derpy as well. So I'm going to wait until I've watched all of the blurb and then I will decide right before the death battle who I think should win. And with that being said, let's watch this bad boy. They say imitation is the highest form of flattery, but sometimes it's nothing but a slap in the face. Such is the case when it comes to these two masked mercenaries. Deadpool, the merc with a mouth. And Deathstroke, the Terminator. He's whizzing on boobstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. You see him on t-shirts, internet memes, and everywhere you look at nerd conventions. <laughs> But the story behind this popular anti-hero isn't as lighthearted as his joking nature would lead you to believe. Wade Winston Wilson was a globe-trotting mercenary looking for his chance to become the world's next greatest superhero. Then he was diagnosed with cancer, which hit him like a flaming semi-truck falling on his face. That's oddly specific. Facing the inevitability of death, Wade gave up. He abandoned his heroic dreams, stopped his chemo treatments, and dumped his girlfriend to free her from the burden of a man doomed to die. Doomed until he was offered a cure by Department K, the special weapons development division of a strange alien world called Canada. <laughs> and by cure, I mean he actually was handed over to the Weapon X program, the same guys who gave Wolverine's bones the old chrome dip. They injected Wade with Wolvie's healing factor. Which I don't even know if that's possible. Do they have like a spare jar of essence of Wolverine or something? With the ability to heal from anything, his body became a surgical playground for Dr. Kilbrew and his assistant Ajax. Just like Operation, only constantly hitting the sides. But hey, at least he doesn't have cancer anymore. Well, actually he still does. His cells just regenerate faster than the cancer can kill him. Beneath that red and black spandex, he's basically a giant walking tumor, which can talk a lot. <laughs> ah, kill it with fire! Oh, wait, we can't. Meanwhile, among Kilbrew's other prisoners, a gambling ring was formed. Patients would place bets on each other's survival under the knife. And these bets were placed in what they called the Deadpool. Get it? Because it's kind of like where his name comes from, you know, you'll see. Unfortunately for Kilbrew, Wade had somehow gotten superhuman strength, speed, and stamina. Because I guess they had a jar filled of that shit too. He used these skills to kill Ajax and make a dramatic escape. Free at last, his fellow inmates inspired him to take on his now famous namesake. Deadpool! Deadpool! Yeah! What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please continue talking about how great I am. I was afraid of this. See, Deadpool somehow possesses a unique awareness of whatever medium he's in, whether it be comic books, games, TV shows, or an awesome internet show. How's it what now? Basically, he's a pro at shattering the fourth wall. Bingo! Oh, hey, Boomstick, tell your ex-wife I said hello. You've got five seconds to get the hell out of here before I blow your head off. Unfortunately, all that would do is just piss him off. Bad idea, as Deadpool is a master martial artist, seasoned assassin, and a raging sex machine, what? Yeah, I noticed you left out a few things in the script, so I made some changes. You know, just the important stuff. <laughs> like my penis. Well, <laughs> by raging sex machine, he means getting down with a bloated alien, a shape-shifting teenage prostitute, and death herself. He must have some pretty low standards. That's right, this guy literally tried to stick his dick in death. Maybe that's why he likes my ex-wife. 
But besides his dick, oh, Deadpool has an arsenal shade. of weaponry he can pull out of absolutely nowhere. This is an animation technique commonly called the magic satchel, though its existence as an actual thing is preposterous. Oh yeah? Watch this. I hate you. Oh, I hate you too. Me too. Some of Deadpool's favorite toys include My trusty rusty twin katanas Some grenades My two favorite machine guns Butter and I can't believe it's not butter A teleportation belt An infinity stone that alters continuity Oh, I can't choose I love them all Okay, that's it, I'm gonna kill him La 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 Combined Deadpool's weapons and abilities have helped him accomplish some amazing feats in spite of his illness. His quick draw is fast enough to beat seven Hydra agents at once. He can decimate legions of armed warriors solo while talking on the phone. He's the only one to ever outwit Taskmaster, who literally has the power to predict his opponent's moves. And in one instance, he even murdered the entire Marvel Universe, including the supposedly unkillable Wolverine. He did this with a sword made of carbon nadium, an alloy capable of nullifying healing factors. In other words, he cheated. He survived skyscrapers collapsing on top of him, having his heart ripped out, his head blown to bits, and even his entire body melted into a puddle. But his regeneration is also responsible for one of his greatest downfalls. This power has trained him to think he's invincible, and so he's become quite careless in battle. And that's just if his extreme ADHD hasn't already put him into a bind. <laughs> Yet there are few more deadly than the regenerating degenerates. Really, Deadpool finally accomplished his dream of becoming the next great superhero. Aw, that's sweet of you guys. Wanna see me naked? Wait, what? No, no, no! Oh, my eyes! <laughs> Claw them out fast enough. And now you're scarred for life. Let's see my competition. I love Deadpool. He's such an arrogant asshole. In the history of the DC Universe, there has never existed a more lethal tactician and soldier than Slade Joseph Wilson. After illegally joining the US military at the age of 16, he fought in Korea for years where his skill earned the attention of an experimental serum program and the lovely Captain Adeline Kane. This is sounding suspiciously like the origin story of Captain America. Slade actually gets the girl. Oh, never mind. But does he steal cars? Probably. Slade completely mastered every fighting style under Adeline's tutelage in record time. Apparently, this impressed her so much they were married with a kid on the way in mere months. Now that's my kind of woman! Oh, you're a badass? No roses, no dates, let's fight people, get married and plow! Feeling pretty fucking great about life, Slade volunteered for an experiment that would help him resist enemy truth serums. Everything went exactly as planned. You'd think these guys would have learned by now. Wouldn't you know it, the injection did not have the effects they were looking for. But instead of ruining his life forever, the experiment accidentally transformed Slade into the deadliest assassin in the world. A Terminator, if you will. Which begs the question, what on earth does the U.S. military think is in truth serums? <laughs> Blade Rose as a new man known to the world as Deathstroke. Really? Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe! Whoop, 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 whoop. Deathstroke is nearly superhuman. He can hit harder, run faster, react quicker, and push himself longer than an Olympic athlete. Plus, he can use 90% of his brain, unlike the average 10%. Come on, if we really only used 10% of our brains, we'd be about as dumb as sheep. You're a sheep. What's important here is Deathstroke's mind can process information nine times more efficiently than an ordinary man. He can think quicker, hear better, and see faster. God damn it, that's not a real thing. Ooh, we should put him and Captain America into a staring gun test. Ugh. He also has a healing factor, which can repair any part of his body, even if his brain is blown to smithereens bringing him back from the dead. Unfortunately, life back home was rough for Slade. His abilities were put to the test when his son was kidnapped by a group of rival mercenaries. Despite a successful rescue, his son lost his ability to speak. So his ungrateful wife lashed out in rage, and Slade was never the same. Literally. But he's one step closer to his secret dream of becoming a pirate. Question, was Wait, there she shot him in the eye? A healing factor? 
How come he's still missing that eye? Well, no one knows, Boomstick, but perhaps not even a healing factor can repair the deepest of emotional wounds. Oh, that's bullshit. Despite his new lack of depth perception, Deathstroke remained as skilled as ever. Partially thanks to his favorite gear. I'm talking dual machine guns, a sniper rifle, and a super bomb. Which is actually just a glorified flashbang grenade with trace bits of kryptonite. Guess who that's for? The guy who fought Goku in one of the most biased fanboy videos ever. Shut up, Wade. Okay, Ben. This is just getting weird. So back to the weapons. Deathstroke prefers his sweet Thundercat-style sword and laser-shooting energy lance. Also, he's got an awesome suit of armor made up of Kevlar and Nth Metal. Oh look, yet another fictional alloy stronger and lighter than titanium. Also, he has armor composed of Prometheum. Well, my shirt is made up of Boomstickium. See, I can make up alloys too, writers. Actually, Boomstick, Prometheum is a real thing. Oh, come on! Though in real life, it's a chemical used in atomic batteries to power guided missiles and spacecraft. But in comic book land, it's not that at all. It can absorb energy, is incredibly strong, and is self-regenerative. Wait, so its suit has a healing factor too? So, does like, his zipper try and close itself when he wants to take a leak? Because that's horrifying. I mean, I remember when I got my junk stuck in the toaster. With and, like, his impressive skills and arsenal, Deathstroke has <laughs> defeated dozens of ninjas at once, survived an exploding nuclear submarine, and took down most of the Justice League by himself. He's also really good at push-ups. Uh, how many push-ups can he do? All of them. Despite multiple members of the Justice League agreeing he's the best tactician on the planet, Deathstroke is known for violent outbursts of rage when in extreme pain. Depending on who he's fighting, this can make him even more dangerous. Deathstroke doesn't just solve problems, he terminates them. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your mind. I will never rest, and neither will you. Was that the Teen Titans? Right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Okay, it's I time think for a death battle. Deathstroke has this. I think Deadpool's gonna be too sloppy, and I think Deathstroke's gonna have it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Come on, Deathstroke. <laughs> what a rip! Seriously, what makes this chump worth ten bucks more than me? Come on, I'm me. What? 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 Am I right? Yeah, I am. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's your lucky day. I can show you. Oh boy, a show? Can I get popcorn first? I hope they have salt and pepper shakers. I love it to be tasty. Bye. Donatello fan, huh? I was always more of a Leonardo guy myself. Although I think most people would pin me more as a Michelangelo. You know, that's them labeling. <laughs> I will not be labeled! <laughs> Not beat out of me by you of all people. Bruises aside, of course. Let's see what kind of mark this leaves on you. Yeah! Hey, buddy, don't let me slow you down. Ha! Ha! Where is that son of a gun? I'm gonna show him what for, I swear to God. S oh! Shit. Snipe, bitch! Look at me! Look at me! Do not slow down! <laughs> 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 
I carry spares. Guess it's cutting time. If you spent half as much time concentrating as you do talking, perhaps you'd be less predictable. Are oh, you kidding me? I'm predictable? <laughs> quickly. No. Nope. You might want to lay low for a couple days because you are pretty much responsible for a mass murder. Ha ha ha! It's a death stroke kebab! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Hang on, give me a sec. This got hurt. Heal fast too? I've got something special for that. Carbonadium Sword! Murdering all your pesky Wolverines and Saber Teeth since 2012. Good year for cinema. <laughs> yeah. All the children in the audience, cover your eyes. Oh, his other eye! <laughs> And the moral of the story is... <gasps> Deadpool wins! Yeah! <laughs> this is totally racist. Hey, Jimmy <laughs> Oh, oh, YouTube comments. Oh, I see you rolling. Oh, you're hating. Oh, it wounds me so deep, doesn't it all? Explain how I beat this asshole. Don't tell me how to do my job. <laughs> and this oh was a surprisingly God. even match. Though Deathstroke was the superior fighter of the two and had the better armor, Deadpool could take all his punishment and give just as much. Deathstroke's smart, so normally he would have no problem predicting his opponent's moves. But Deadpool is so unpredictable, not even Taskmaster, or sometimes even himself for that matter, can keep up with whatever he's doing. <laughs> Unfortunately for Deathstroke, he didn't have the means to put Deadpool down for good. And while Deathstroke's healing factor was perfect for repairing damage, Deadpool's trumped his by being capable of replacing entire organs at a much faster rate. Sometimes the original isn't always the best. Deadpool is just a cut above the rest. The winner is... Spider-Man! I mean Deadpool, shit! Oh my god! 
I had to see when that death battle actually went live because of just like some of the comments in it. Actually hilarious. I just feel like people are so worried about things they say online nowadays that it's like you wouldn't... You wouldn't really see any massive creators doing that anymore because they'd be too scared of the backlash. So it was like, ah, it was kind of funny. It was cool. All right, so Deadpool kind of won that one. Damn it, I keep getting them wrong all the time. But that one was really cool. I really enjoyed that one. But yeah, I thought that Deathstroke was going to get it mainly because they said that even if you destroyed his brain, he could still come back. But ultimately, it just wasn't meant to be. Please let me know of any other death battles you would like me to react to in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.